Here we're asked to factor x to the sixth minus y to the sixth. Now I recognize this as difference of squares and also difference of cubes. When this is the case, we make it a rule to factor it as difference of squares first. We begin by identifying the perfect square factors of each term. In this case, x to the sixth can be factored x cubed squared. Remember, power to power we multiply exponents. Similarly, y to the sixth can be factored y to the third squared. So we'll use x to the third as a and y to the third as b in the formula for difference of squares. Therefore, we can factor this x to the third plus y to the third times x to the third minus y to the third. At this point, we're not quite done. We recognize the factors here as sum of cubes and difference of cubes. Each one of these factors can be factored further. We next identify the perfect cube factor for each term. Notice they'll be the same for both of these factors. In this case, x cubed factors as x cubed. Similarly, y cubed factors y cubed. Here we'll use x for a in the formula for sum and difference of cubes and y for b. We'll factor this factor first, sum of cubes. In this case, we have x plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared. Next, factoring difference of cubes, that'll factor as x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared. Now the trinomials that we obtain are prime. So this factorization then is complete.